This is HSK2. We are in the workbook, lesson number 12, page 111. We're going to correct questions number 26 to 30. In this activity, we are given a text and below each text, we have a sentence. We have to decide according to the text contents if this sentence next to the start is true or false. We start with question number 26. Here we have the text 今年没有去年人 北京到现在还没下雪呢。去年这个时候已经下雪了。This year isn't as cold as last year. It hasn't snowed yet in Beijing. Last year it had already snowed by now. According to this, we have the sentence 北京今年比去年人 This year, Beijing is colder than the last year. According to the text, this sentence is incorrect because at the beginning we have the expression this year isn't as cold as last year. Question number 27. Didn't you do sport last month? How about tomorrow going with me to play football? Playing basketball is also okay. In connection with this, we have the sentence 他们可能明天一起运动. They probably tomorrow do sport together. According to the main text, we can say that this sentence is true, as the person speaking in the text is suggesting tomorrow going to do some sport. Now question number 28. 妻子每天睡觉前都要喝一杯牛奶。他说这样可以睡得好一些. My wife, although here we don't have the expression my, but as I'm talking about a wife, in Chinese, the logical conclusion is that I'm referring to my own wife. So my wife, every day before going to sleep, drinks a glass of milk. She says that way sleeps much better. In connection with that, we have the sentence next to the star. 妻子起床后要喝牛奶. My wife, after getting up, has to drink milk. In the main text, we are not talking about after getting up, we are talking about before going to sleep. So the sentence is false. We are not saying that in the main text. Question number 29. Thank you. Without your help, this issue probably couldn't have been completed until tonight. Related to this, we have the sentence 事情已经做完了. The issue has already been completed. In the main text, I'm saying that probably couldn't have been completed. The thing has already been completed. So, the sentence is true. Now we go to the last question, number 慢一点,你走得太快了。我们去那个茶馆喝杯茶,好不好? A little slower, you walk too fast. We go to that tea house to drink a cup of tea, okay? Related to that, we have the sentence 他想去喝茶 He wants to go to drink some tea. According to the main text, this sentence is true because he is suggesting going to a tea house to drink a cup of tea. With this, you have the correction for page number 111 in the workbook.